Question 4 from the 2016 AP Chemistry exam is dealing with phenol. Okay, so phenol is a weak acid, but if you look at it, it doesn't even look like a weak acid. In fact, a lot of students looked at this and go, no, no, that's a base because it has OH on it. Um, but it turns out that what happens is that little H right there can come off. So if it says, if the test question says it's an acid, then you better treat it as an acid. And we can see that it goes C6H5OH uh, plus water. That H comes off and sticks onto a water molecule. And it turns into H3O plus and the uh, C6H5O with a minus charge. The Ka for this guy is 1.12 times 10 to the minus 10. So, question is, what is the pH of a 0.75 molar solution of C6H5OH phenol? And for a certain reaction, we'll come back to that one. So first of all, what's the pH of this? Let's go down and do that. This is kind of a standard reaction. So if we have our, our acid, okay, in fact, let's uh, C6H5OH. And that's going to turn into C6H5O with a minus charge and H plus. Okay, so we could do a little ice box. And the idea is that if I have a 0.75 molar solution and none of this to begin with, then what happens is that X of this will dissociate will form X of this and will form X of this. So at equilibrium, we're going to have X, we're going to have X, we're going to have 0.75 minus X. Now let's do our Ka expression, the concentration of C6H5O minus times H plus all over C6H5OH. And that was 1.12 times 10 to the minus 10. And we're just going to need to solve for X, which is going to be our H plus concentration. And then we can get a pH from that. So substituting in, we have X times X. So X squared over 0.75 minus X equals 1.12 times 10 to the negative 10. Now, if you've done these kind of problems, you know that that x is pretty small because, you know, this is an equation here. We're saying C6H5OH is in equilibrium with H plus and C6H5O minus. And we know that it looks like this because, you know, this K number is 10 to the minus 10. So that when we take these concentrations divided by these concentrations, it comes out to be a very small number. So what we're going to have to say is assume X is much smaller than 0.75. Therefore, 0.75 minus X is pretty much the same thing as 0.75. So when we do that, that uh, makes our calculation much easier. So now we're saying x squared over 0.75 is equal to 1.12 times 10 to the negative 10. So x squared is equal to 0.75 times 1.12 times 10 to the negative 10, which is 8.4. times 10 to the negative 11. That's a 10 up here. Okay, that's x squared. So x is equal to the square root of x squared, the square root of that number, and that's going to be 9.2 times 10 to the negative 6. So what do we just figured out? That is our H plus concentration. And the pH of that, I'm just going to do it right here, so is equal to the negative log of 9.2 times 10 to the negative 6. And that's going to be 5.04. So the way this is graded, okay, we're going to get one point for calculating the correct H plus, so the correct uh, setup and calculation of H plus. And then we get another point for the correct 
uh, pH based on our correct uh, H plus, and that is uh, two points so far. The part B of this question now says for a certain reaction involving C6H5OH to proceed at a significant rate, the phenol must be primarily in its deprotonated form. So that's C6H5O. So what we're saying here is here it's got its H plus, and here it doesn't have the H plus, and H plus is a proton, so this guy here is the deprotonated form. In order to ensure that the phenol is deprotonated, the reaction must be conducted in a buffered solution. On the number scale below, circle each pH for which more than 50% of the phenol molecules are in the deprotonated form. Whoa! So what are we saying? I think we should start and say, well, where do we have equal amounts? Where is it 50-50 of the protonated and deprotonated form? And for that, I'm going to go back to my Ka expression. And that's going to get, again, be H plus times C6H5O minus over C6H5OH. And that equals uh, 1.12 times 10 to the negative 10. So when this deprotonated and protonated, when those are equal, then we're going to kind of get that nice situation we see it once in a while in the chemistry um, where those cancel out. So therefore the Ka equals the H plus concentration and that equals 1.12 times 10 to the negative 10. So when those are equal, when we have a 50-50 mixture of those two um, uh, species, okay, protonated and unprotonated, then we can see that the um, pH equals the pKa and if we take the negative log of both sides out, we find out that the pH then is 9.95. Okay, so what if I want it to be uh, mostly deprotonated? Okay, the deprotonated, that's my base. So I want to have numbers that are more basic than 9.95. So my answer then is going to be 10 and 11 and 12, 13 and 14. So circle each pH for which more than 50% of the phenol molecules are deprotonated. Okay, so anything higher than 9.95, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and that is my justification because when they are equal, the pH is 9.95, okay, and I want something that's more basic, more of my deprotonated form. And that's worth two points. Okay, one point for circling 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And the other part is for my justification. And the justification is, you know, I know 9.95 is when I have 50-50. And if I want more than 50-50, more of the deprotonated, more of my base, I need uh, higher pHs. And that is question number four.